On this video we're going to talk about NAS and how to integrate that in your home multimedia system. So the question is, when I get a NAS, where do I connect it and how do I access it? Do I need any additional things uh, purchased to connect it? So this is the question. So what NAS is? NAS is just a storage device, network attached storage device, which you connect to your router which is where is your broadband router usually coming in the cabinet you just connect it through the LAN port and that's it now your home has this storage space you can connect to from you can connect from your your phones your computers uh, remotely through the browser how you want but uh, with a music system you can uh, link it to pretty much any device you want to your TVs to your amplifiers to your Sonos speakers smart speakers phones everything <laughs> so first of all if you want to just play music from your computer for example then uh, you will just log into the admin panel this is the least frequently used option everyone else is using more fun uh, more fun way of uh, connecting and, and uh, playing this music so you could just uh, log into a queue up uh, open music station and then uh, choose whatever songs you want to play you also has um, you have option to choose where this uh, music is going to be played on. So are there's going to be played. Which we can talk a little bit later. So either you um, play this music on um, amplifier or smart speaker or Chromecast or uh, anything you want or, or TV. But uh, this is the, the most boring way of uh, streaming my music, so through the queue up. So the other option would be uh, connecting your NAS directly to an amplifier. So you can use either HDMI out or audio out. You connect that um, at, at the back of this amplifier, so audio in. Or if you've got some new generation amplifier, you might have actually a LAN port, which is going to give you DLNA access, which means that this using amplifier remote, you'll be able to see all of the music files on the NAS and then play these files. So that's the, the one way of doing things, the old way of doing things with amplifier. So then you can have a DLNA enabled speaker like Sonos. So again, you can connect through the LAN port, your, ampli uh, your um, Sonos speaker or through the Wi-Fi, and you will be able to link with your NAS using this protocol called DLNA. So again, you're gonna see all music on your Sonos. You can just go on the control panel on the top or use a Sonos remote or Sonos app and uh, see all that music and, and, and play all that music. That's other way of doing things. Then you can use uh, smart speakers, for example, uh, either Amazon Echo or Google Home. You can actually set up um, an, a, a way of talking to the now, now, so if you ask uh, your Alexa to play certain music, it will be able to actually look for the music on your uh, NAS, on your storage device, and uh, play that on your smart speaker. You can do that also on Google Home. It's all possible. The other option to play and access this music will be again on your TV. So if your TV is smart TV, DLNA enabled, or even if you just use a Chromecast through the HDMI at the, ba at the back, or Android uh, uh, Fire, uh, Fire Stick or Android TV Stick uh, on your TV, you can again see all this music on the NAS and play this on your TV. Not just music, also videos and photos and, and anything else. And you can also access music on your mobile devices and the phones. So once you uh, once you link it, you install the app on your phone. You can then see all of the music on your NAS and then you can choose, okay, I want to play this music on um, on a NAS speakers connected or on the NAS uh, connected to a um, HDMI amplifier or to the smart speakers. You can choose where you want to cast this music or you can just play on your phone. Um, this is what you can do with all of these uh, with, with the NAS storage system. So if you have any other questions or it's still not clear, you can always um, fill the form on the NAS Compares right inside or send email to info NAS Compares and if a question is going to be interesting, then we can shoot the video like this and help others as well. Have a lovely day and cheerio.